Okay, we're looking to print late notices, overdue notices, and here you're going to be in reports and library reports. When you come down, you have dates to give. I actually gave a year's date away. I did the 21st, 2021 to 2022, so it's a year. You'll see what you have late from last year if the librarian did not do it. You're gonna click continue and you have patron types. You're gonna click and make sure you have students. And we're gonna go to continue here. Oh, I'm sorry, so here it is. After you go to continue, you have patron name. When you click the drop down for patron name, click a homeroom, and then you're going to do the same homeroom. We'll do 13 to 13. So we'll run just for that class. You're gonna run it, refresh it, it's completed. We're going to go and click view. And this homeroom actually did not check something out. Let's go back and we'll do a homeroom that maybe did. We'll try for a lower grade. We'll do it again. Come down, click continue. Continue. Patron we're changing to, let's do grade level, just so we see grade level since um, I'm not sure what classes have it and what classes don't. We'll do second grade to second grade. Run report, pending, in progress, complete it, view. And so this is for the whole second grade grade level. It's in alphabetical order by name. But ideally, what you want to do is when you do it, you want to do it by class. So not all classes have library in the first half of semester. So this way you can see when the books are due and who the children are. But if you do it by class using the room numbers, then you can get it by the teacher. You can cut the little names off into individual strips because you don't want to give it to the teacher whole. You want to make it as easy possible. And this way the teacher can hand out the strips and the children will remember to return the books.